If you've ever watched videos or even seen a captain of an airliner, you've probably heard the phrase V1. But what exactly does V1 mean and what are V speeds? Today we're going to take a look at V speeds, what exactly they are, and the ones you need to know for your private pilot training. The first thing you need to know about V speeds is they are different for different aircraft. Today, I'm going to be referencing V-speeds for a PA-28 or a Piper Cherokee, but be sure to reference your own aircraft's operating manual so you know what the specific V-speeds are for the airplane that you're training in. So what exactly are V-speeds? Most people, they see the V and they think the V stands for velocity, but the V actually stands for VTC, which is a French term which means speed. Simply put, V-speeds are standardized aviation terms that are used to identify certain speeds that you need to know for your aircraft. Keep in mind, there's a lot more than what we're just going to talk about today, but these are probably the only ones you need to necessarily know for your private pilot training. The first one we're going to talk about is VSO, and this is the speed for minimum steady flight in a landing configuration. If we take a look at the airspeed indicator, the VSO speed is indicated by the bottom of the white arc, and the Piper PA-28, it's 45 knots. The next one we're going to take a look at is the VS, which is the minimum steady flight speed at which an airplane is controllable. Now, this is generic and it's not tied to a specific speed, but if you want to get specific, then let's take a look at VS1. This is essentially the minimum steady flight speed when the airplane is in a clean configuration, meaning no flaps. In the case of the PA-28, this is 50 knots. Next we'll take a look at VR, which is the optimal takeoff speed. When you're cruising down the runway and about to take off, VR is the point at which you're going to pull back on the stick and rotate, essentially, causing the plane to leave the pavement and take flight. And the PA-28, VR is 60 knots. Next we have VX, which is the best angle of climb. Now this one's going to get confused a lot with VY as well, so here's the main difference between them. VX, the best angle of climb, is the greatest gain in altitude in the shortest possible horizontal distance. This means you're gonna climb the greatest set altitude over a short period of distance, not time. For the PA-28, this is 64 knots. VX comes into play when you're trying to take off and you're taking off over an object to the end of the runway. We'll talk about that in later videos. And the other V-speed it's most commonly confused with is VY, or the best rate of climb. VY, in contrary to VX, is the greatest gain in altitude in the shortest time period, so this has to do with time, not distance. VY is typically the speed you are going to climb out on because it's going to give you the fastest gain in altitude over the set period of time. In the Piper PA-28, VY is 76 knots. The next one we're going to look at is VG, or best glide speed. This is the speed that's going to give you the greatest distance for altitude lost if you are gliding your aircraft. If you ever lose an engine or have an emergency, this is the speed you're going to most likely aim for. It's going to allow you to go the furthest with losing the least amount of altitude. What's funny is in the PA-28, VG is actually the same as VY, which is 76 knots. Next we'll take a look at VFE, which is the maximum flaps extension speed. This is displayed on the airspeed indicator as the top of the white arc. If you're above this white arc, do not put the flaps down. If you attempt to put the flaps down above this white arc, you run the risk of damaging the flaps or possibly even breaking them altogether. In the PA-28, this is 102 knots. Next is VNO. A good way to remember this is no go there. VNO stands for maximum structural cruising speed and it's portrayed by the bottom of the yellow arc on the airspeed indicator. On the PA-28, this speed is 125 knots. Keep in mind, any airspeed in the yellow arc you should only be flying at if you're flying in smooth air. If you're flying in the yellow arc and you encounter turbulence, it can cause structural damage to the aircraft. If you do encounter turbulence, you should be flying at the next V-speed we're about to talk about. VA is the design maneuvering speed. Now this one's a little tricky because it actually changes. VA is the highest safe airspeed for abrupt control deflections or operation in turbulence. The key thing is it changes with the weight of your aircraft. For example, our Piper PA-28 at our flight school, if it's loaded to 2,550 pounds, the VA is 113 knots. But if it's only loaded to 1,634 pounds, the VA is 89 knots. If you ever experience turbulence, this is the speed your aircraft should be slowed down to to penetrate through the turbulence. Also, when you're doing your maneuvers on your check ride, VA is the speed you want to be operating at. Unless, of course, you're doing a maneuver that has a set airspeed. 
And finally, let's talk about VNE, the never exceed speed. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's the red line at the top of the airspeed indicator. Do not, under any circumstance, go past this speed. If you go past this speed, you run the risk of causing structural damage to the aircraft or even worst case scenario, the aircraft breaking apart. In the PA-28, this speed is 154 knots. Make it a good habit of starting to memorize these V speeds, because you need to know these speeds to have safe operation while operating the aircraft. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the building block for more videos in the future. These V speeds will come into play later on, so be sure to start memorizing them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe to keep up to date when we upload our next private pilot training video. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll catch you in the next video.